What was happening that this came about? Well, this year has been hard. Um, like everyone, this year has been hard. Uh, I asked Max to paint some hearts because we really needed something to do. <laughs> and other people had hearts in their windows. But I didn't just give Max red paint to paint a red heart on a white background. I gave him all the paints. And he loved it so much that they were too beautiful to just put in the window. I wanted to see them and we put them on the living room wall. We had a prayer at the beginning of quarantine. That prayer was, how can we be a blessing to someone else in this hard season? And what happened with the hearts was so unexpected and unplanned on our part and evidence of God's vast creativity. Our God who placed the stars in the sky, that creativity is still at work in our lives today. We began painting on yard signs. Max began painting on yard signs and we just did a few, delivered them. It was so much fun. I gave Max some more yard signs and that was back in June. He's now painted about 125 hearts and gifted them around the community. A few of them has, have been mailed off around the country. It's been our bright spot. It's been how Max is able to be a blessing to others. These beautiful hearts that are so joy-filled uh, are, are conveying a message of hope and joy that comes from our faith in Jesus. And that started very small. That started with just a couple of hearts. And we had no idea what this would turn into, how it would grow. Uh, the, the interest in the hearts became so great that we couldn't meet the demand. Max couldn't paint that many hearts. So we turned them into note cards with the mission of other people sending a heart by Max and a message of encouragement to those in their lives. In the first two months when we launched those cards, we sold uh, 14,000 cards. 14,000 cards went out into the community designed to bring a message of hope. All proceeds to charity in the spirit of the mission. We had no idea that would happen. Uh, the beautiful part of this is my mom at 89 years old has a mission of making up all the boxes of cards. We, uh, we pack them up, ship them. The stories are extraordinary of what people are doing with these heart cards. These hearts are, these hearts are born of brokenness and they're going back out into the brokenness of the world to bring hope. One of the beautiful things is watching where Max wants to place the hearts and who he wants to give them to. And I think one of the beautiful things is when he plants them in the most unappealing places, in the midst of, of trash blowing around and uh, unkept circumstances and, uh, in the middle of busy traffic and it's such a symbol of God's beauty being planted in us being planted in the brokenness of the world I paint down and on the table you paint them on the Mom. tables you do so Max what do we do with the hearts when you paint after you paint them what do we do deliver them Deliver them. Where? Can you think of three places you've brought hearts? The Transformer, Mexico Bridge, and Nottingham Drive. That's right. You have. Max, how do you think people feel when they get a heart? Good. I think they feel great. Do you think this makes God's love shine into the world? Yes. yes. It's yeah, I think it does. Who's a hardest? I'm a hardest. When we went into quarantine, 
I knew one thing, that we were called to be a blessing to others as Christians, as the church. I also knew this was not our first quarantine. Max and I have been through years of isolation. We have been through uh, life changing on a dime. We have been through struggle and suffering. And it's our turn, because we have that experience, to comfort those 